Hey everybody, this is my 125 gallon native tank and I've recently lost a couple of crayfish. I think it was the last two remaining crayfish I had in the tank. One is still in there, it was moving its claws around a few hours ago but I'm pretty sure it's dead now. I haven't seen it move at all since I've been down in here uh, over the last several minutes checking this tank out. So I was wondering why my crayfish kept dying. I thought maybe it had something to do with springtime or hibernation or something like that. And I had two of my viewers point out something to me that should have been pretty obvious right from the get-go, but I never even thought about it. And that's, of course, the reason why my crayfish are having problem. And that is the lack of calcium in my water. Any kind of crustacean or shelled animal, whether it's a shrimp or a crayfish or a snail, has to have calcium in the water. And I have none in mine. I add uh, eggshells and I add cuddle bone to my snail tank because I know this. And yet it never crossed my mind that I'm going to have issues with crayfish in this tank. Probably also explains why I've never been able to keep... Uh, mystery snails alive for very long. I have no calcium or magnesium in my water. I have zero hardness. I do have some sodium ions and that acts as an electrolyte for the fish. It's not perfect. It doesn't replace the calcium and magnesium, but it does prevent my fish from dying. However, if you're an animal that specifically needs calcium, then you're not going to live very long in my water. And it never occurred to me that that was what the problem with the crayfish was. Uh, one person even pointed out that the little rust spots, as they're called, uh, are actually a sign of a calcium deficiency. And I've even talked about those in videos, wondering what they were and why I was getting these little rusty-looking spots on the crayfish. It almost looked like uh, something had poked holes in the, in the shell or something, and it was leaving these marks behind so i think it's a pretty safe bet that the lack of calcium in my water is the culprit to the reason i don't get longevity out of my crayfish and it's kind of interesting you know i always talk about crayfish being one of those animals that can just live in any conditions and they can live in a mud puddle and we tend to think of animals like that as being real durable and hardy and these animals that can just live in you know almost stagnant water or they can live in these high levels of organics doesn't necessarily mean they can live in really pure water. Now, this tank I'm not claiming is pure in the sense of organics. There's lots of, you know, nitrates and phosphates and stuff in this tank, but there's no dissolved minerals in it. There, well, with the addition, you know, the exception of a little bit of uh, sodium. But there's no calcium in there. There's no magnesium in there. There's no iron in there. There's nothing in my water. I run it through a treatment system and it pulls all that stuff out. So, what I've done. If you haven't noticed them already is I crushed up four uh, the shells of four eggs we had uh, French toast for breakfast and we took the egg shells afterwards and I ground them up as best I could with my fingers I didn't use a mortar and pestle or anything I got all of the membrane and everything out so we just threw the shell in the tank and it's not going to stay where it is. I just poured it in the tank and that's where it sits right now. I didn't want to crush it up really fine so it just completely went down in between the rocks. The idea is not so much that the eggshell is going to dissolve into the water, although that's certainly part of the plan. But I also want there to be big enough pieces available that when I get some more crayfish added into this tank and we've got about a foot of snow on the ground right now and it's still coming down, so I don't know how soon we're going to be able to get out there and catch any more. Uh, presumably we will get to springtime one of these days. It's technically spring now, but as I said, we've got a foot of snow on the ground and it's still coming down. So I don't know how soon that'll be before we can get out there. But we will get back out there and I will get some more uh, crayfish in this tank. And then hopefully with the actual physical pieces of eggshell in the tank, they can devour that. They can go over and chew on it and eat on it. So that's going to be pretty much my update here for the native tank. Mystery solved. Once again, uh, I have to thank my viewers for cluing me in to something that I really, really should have been uh, well aware of. It never should have been a problem in the first place. Again, it just never crossed my mind that these tough, durable, tough as nails animals like crayfish simply can't live in my water because my water is too pure. There's not enough 
uh, dissolved solids and there's not enough dissolved minerals in my water to keep them healthy. So the addition of this calcium hopefully will solve the problem. Now, to keep my mystery snails alive in my T-bar tank, uh, they're doing fine so far, but I suspect over time their shells aren't going to develop properly and eventually they're going to die if I don't get some source of calcium in the tank for them my Chinese algae eater up front and center down there at the bottom seldom makes an appearance I used to think that fish was getting big and now that I look at it compared to some of these other fish like these creek chubs and my Chinese algae eater doesn't look so big anymore again these creek chubs are just astounding me how big they're getting and according once again to my viewers uh, several people have told me they can get upwards of a foot so that should be pretty exciting at any rate make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss anything I've got coming up uh, as this tank develops as we get outside as we get new crayfish added to it so on and so forth you don't want to miss any of that and of course if you're subscribed you won't so don't forget this one is my 125 gallon native tank thanks for watching hope you enjoyed i'll see you real soon in the next one